In Republican politics, there is a place one must go if one wishes to ever be considered a candidate for the presidency. The Iowa State Fair. Two bacon corn dogs? Yes. All right. And at the Iowa State Fair this weekend, quite a ways away from home, former Massachusetts Senator Scott Brown. But it's not just pundits throwing out 2016 speculation. Brown told the Boston Herald, I want to get an indication of whether there's even an interest, if there's room for a bipartisan problem solver. I think it's premature, but I am curious. Curious about a bid for the Republican nomination in 2016, that is. Not that he was in voters' faces about it. According to the Des Moines Register, the visit was low-key. Still, Fox News' Brett Baer notes in Washington, the news came as a surprise and speculation what the race would look like if someone else threw his hat in the ring. It would be an interesting up against somebody like a Chris Christie, another Northeast uh, Republican who a lot of people say is a moderate to go after that kind of segment of the Republican. Both men, Brown and New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, are seen as moderates within the party, and if they run, would likely face off against a few more conservative contenders. That reputation as a moderate is in fact why the Boston Globe's Adrian Walker is skeptical. Why would a party that got trounced with Mitt Romney in 2012 turn around and nominate Scott Brown? Brown lost re-election to Elizabeth Warren a couple months ago. He took gigs at a law firm and as a contributor at Fox News. As for his motivations, a writer for M MSNBC suggests Brown sees the testing of the waters as a cost-free endeavor. It won't affect his lobbying gig, and it certainly won't hurt his standing at Fox News. Now, a possible presidential run isn't the only option on the table. He's suggested before he's open to the idea of Massachusetts governor, and his second home in New Hampshire makes him eligible for a Senate run in the Granite State as well. Thanks for watching Newsy. I'm Christina Hartman.